Hi, I'm Rainy with Finance Strategist. In this lesson, we're going to cover... While APR is a more accurate estimation of the total cost of a loan than the nominal interest rate, it is limited because it only considers a simple interest rate. If the interest compounds on a smaller time frame than annually, such as monthly or semi-annually, the actual interest paid will be higher than the APR advertised. Factoring in compounding interest that happens within a year gives you a loan's EAR, or Effective Annual Rate, sometimes also called APY, or Annual Percentage Yield. Here's how to remember interest rate, APR, and EAR. Interest rate is the interest on the principal borrowed, which does not factor in any additional fees and is usually stated annually. Annual percentage rate is the interest plus additional fees stated as a percentage. This is stated annually and therefore does not factor in rates compounded on a smaller time frame. Effective annual rate, or EAR, factors in additional fees and whether the rate is compounded on a smaller time frame. An APR is needed to compute the EAR. Compounding interest monthly rather than annually and other maneuvers like these to further enslave those in credit card debt is why credit card companies and other consumer lenders have a poor reputation. Now that you know the difference between nominal interest rate, annual percentage rate, and effective annual rate, consider sharing this information with a friend to help them with their financial situation. For more information, visit www.financestrategist.com. Finance Strategists, strategies for your future. <laughs>